Hey guys, welcome back to Twitchy Plays XCOM Enemy Online, where last time we were taking on the horrors of a battleship. But we actually managed to make it out with at least two of our units intact, but that means of course that we actually got four of our guys the dead, and that, that's not very good. Uh, yeah, you can see our alien attacks have become more frequent, and oh my, we have got one, two, three, four, five. We've got enough for one full squad. Uh, we've got a couple of guys wounded and someone who's in psionics testing, but to me, that means we need some more soldiers because, well, I do have a habit of running through the number of soldiers we've got. Something else I wanted to show you guys is what is going on in the Situation Room. As you can see, we have panic brewing in the United States and Brazil so that's that's a little bit difficult I don't know how we're going to deal with that we've also got panic brewing in Australia now that one's not too difficult because we can actually put a, a satellite there to counteract that it's these guys whatever happens like next these two are going to panic or oh, unless we can deal with one of them and then only one of them panics but that's still one panicking by the time we get our next uh, council meeting so yeah that's not good also we have the ethereal device in um no, oh, complete, sorry. We've got the Gollop Chamber in progress. And we're testing for psionic powers. At some point, we might actually get one of these guys ready to go. One thing... Uh, one thing. One thing. Lots of things. Okay, lots and lots of things on the go here. we finally got some more research that we can do. So let's get that going. I don't know whether we want the guided fusion, fusion launcher for our heavies. Or whether we want the fusion lance for our... Uh, interceptors. I'm going to go with the guided, fu guided fusion launcher. Wow, say that five times quick. That's a bit of a tongue twister. Uh, okay, so let's begin that project. Boom! Right, science is underway. Engineering, what's going over here? Well, we've got some si some satellites on the go. Unfortunately, if we come back to our full event list here, you can see that they're not ready until after the council report. So, yeah, something... A little bit dodgy there. Well, I say dodgy. A little bit late there. So we're not really going to be able to do anything else. Uh, now, in the barracks, what I'd like to do is have a look in the side labs. We've got this guy in seven days. And we can't actually add anyone else that's not... I mean, can we add our wounded soldiers? No, we can't. So, unfortunately, until we get the new soldiers in, we can't do anything about these. Oh, look. This guy failed already. Or this girl failed already. Um, okay, so... Anything else to be done in the base? I don't think there's really anything else to be done in the base. Let's have a quick look in here. We could really do with another firestorm or something like that, right? Uh, let's go have a look. How much How much money would that cost us? An extra firestorm. Uh, 69 creds. Yes. I oh, know. Let's wait until we get a little bit more money at the end of the month. Um... So, yeah, with that, should we just carry on scanning through time? We've got a few things on the go here, as you guys can see. We've got some satellites going up. Satellite has gone up. We've got some guys back from our thing. Oh, yeah. No, you can have those. So, so some people are after some heavy floater corpses. We just happen to have four times the amount or something like that. Uh, it's the Japanese. I mean, I'm willing to give the Japanese a look at like these highly mechanized units. You never know. They might actually make some sort of giant battle mech out of it that we can use. Not that we don't actually have access to the giant battle mech that I have just been shunning because, you know, humans are better at dealing with sort of weird situations like that. Or at least that's, that's my... Oh, hello. Aliens have been terrorizing Sydney. We need to go and start help out these uh, these poor, poor people in Australia. I mean, their barbecues and, like, Foster's drinking has been interrupted. And uh, well, what are we going to do about that, hey? We are, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do about that. We are going to get out there and we are going to help them. But who, how are we going to help them? Um, well, we're going to help them with these guys. So what, what's going on here? Nanofiber vest? Is that really what we want our heavy to have? I don't know. Let's get in there and have a look. Uh, the, the, the armor looks wrong. What are you wearing? You're wearing a Titan armor. Is that what we want? them to have. I think that's probably what we want them to have. Uh, no, uh, uh, I didn't want to be in there. I wanted to come out here and we wanted to look down here to see if there's any... Why won't you scroll? There we go. Uh, chitin plating? I think chitin plating is probably a lot better. And we've only got the one rocket launcher. An LMG. I have that. Does that, does that look good? Is that everything we needed to do here? I think that was everything we needed to do here. Uh, then we've got two guys in brown here. Now to me, as always, that screams failure. <sighs> there's, there's nothing quite like un unedited units to tell you that everyone that you had actually sorted out was dead and buried in a shallow ditch in some, some underneath some uh, UFO somewhere. Uh, we're not going to give them the light plasma rifle because that would just be death. We're going to give them the real plasma rifle. Uh, no pistols. What, what, what are we actually going to give him for thing that? I think we're going to give him some chitting plating. It was either that or a scope. Which would be good to like get better aim chances but I think trying to keep him alive will probably take precedent there. Uh, I'm president, sorry. Um, so that's what we're going to go for. And then the same over here. I think we're going to go with Titan Armor. Well, we do have like a skeleton suit left to go. I don't think this is the best person to give it to, though. 
But at the same time, who else are we going to give it to, though? There we go. Let's do it. <laughs> um, didn't want to read that. I wanted to watch that. And down here, do we want the scope? Do we want the arc thrower? No, I think we want the man of five nano fiber vest if i had something a bit better to give i would give it a bit better but you know that's that's the way of going can we actually make an extra chitin plating i know we're literally just on our way to go to help people let's get to engineering let's come in here uh can we make like here uh no it's not here chitin plating yeah look look we got the the chrysalid corpse it's not going to eat anything we don't want apart from money but we just made some money from giving away those floater corpses so let's do it yeah that's it we're, we're out of doing that now what was it that... Oh, it's money. Money was the thing that got in the way. That, that's all right. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. All right. So, after these ramblings, let's get back to Mission Control. Uh, terror Attack, Sky Ranger. Wow, so many buttons to press just to get to the right place. And then in here, load out nanofiber. It's not nanofiber because we want the chit in play. Okay, cool. Wow. Okay, let's get going. Go see what horrors await for us in Australia. Uh, I should imagine it's like massive melanobans coming at us, stuff like that. Um, we're going past this, the, 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 the blank spot of India. It's a shame. I, what I'd really like to do is find out some way of getting India back on our team, but I, I think that's it. You know, it's kind of like your, your, your strikes and you're out type scenario. So, you know, whatever. Uh, we are going to Sydney, Australia. It looks urban. I like, I like urban. Um, reports of alien zones. I don't know what the thing is. I like urban zones a lot better than I, than I like rural ones. The main thing being, when a tree gets shot down, you, you don't really have many other options to go towards. But if a wall gets shot down, well, there's generally three more attached to that wall. Okay, touching down on the, uh, the red earth of Australia. I presume that's why everything's red. I mean, it couldn't possibly be because the aliens have, like, set everything on fire, right? No, I couldn't possibly. Okay, so, number one priority today... Keeping these guys alive. Screw the civilians. No one cares about the civilians. Okay, first up is my... Oh, who, who is this? This, this is my, my sniper. Is this actually as closed in as it looks? There, there's a solid wall here. There is a, a what's-it barrier here. A game barrier here. Game barrier here. Okay, so it looks like this is our only way in and out. And this is quite good. This is, is this a military zone? Looks like a military zone. So where are we... What, you, uh, you know what? I'm just going to leave them here. Do we need to use the battle scanner? Is this something that can happen straight away? I've never used one before, so let's do it. I'm sure this is, like, ooh, using it in a very bad place. Let's try there. Can we, can we do that? Is that a good opening move? I don't know. I've never used this thing before. I hope it's a good move. Man, he's got some hell of an arm on him, hasn't he? Okay, what do we see? We don't see anything, really, do we? That's a bit of a shame. So, Jensen, who is... Is Jensen? I mean, how would you pronounce that? Honestly, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I, many of you who have been with me this entire series will know that I am terrible at trying to pronounce people's names in this. Um, standard English behaviour, I'm afraid. You know, we, we went round, we what, conquered the world, and then we didn't bother learning anyone's language, and then complain about everyone coming over here who doesn't speak our language. Which is just, like, all sorts of crazy. Now, kicks. You need to be up front somewhere, my friend. Uh, I don't like all these half covers, though. Is there a full cover somewhere? There's not. Now, the reason he needs to be up front is because he is my, he is our man with the shotgun. He's not a man with a shotgun. He's a man with a plasma rifle. So maybe maybe we don't need him so up front. Okay, so we're going to sit there. We're just going to carry on going through. Now, support is there. Most definitely there. He can keep an eye on everyone, but he's still quite up front. Hopefully, we're not going to get in too much trouble. What have we got around here? I've not really had a chance to to look properly. There doesn't seem to be anything here. How far is the edge of this map? Oh, oh. Oh, it's big. Oh, this might take some time. Um, well, you know, this is this is how we need to play this game. Every now and then we need to slow it down, take our time, maybe split it up into many bits. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, there's no way around this way, is there? No. So, I don't know. We got It's our two rookies, right? What are we going to do with our two rookies? Well, the first one can dash down here. I don't want to dash too far. Let's put them next to, to Kix. Kix can keep an eye on them. Yeah, he's, he is our... Longest running squad member now? I think. I think he is anyway. So we're just going to overwatch everyone because there's not really anything else to do at the moment. Uh, and Flores. That, Flor is that how you pronounce that? Flores? Maybe? I don't know. You can come down. Stand here. I uh, probably could, should have pushed them up to the end there. But we've moved now, so this is what we're going to have to deal with. End of turn one. I don't know. I'm not overly impressed with what I've done here, but uh, we'll just have to deal with, with what's going on. What do we see? What do we hear? We hear some death. Okay, well, that's all right. 
I suppose. Uh, we don't want to dash. Oh, do we? Do we want to... I'm looking for somewhere to put our sniper that's a little bit above everything. Um, because, you know, that's what you want to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, we're going to leave him there until we figure out what's going on next. Uh, the first one to move up and out of cover is blatantly going to be a, uh, a rookie, right? Or at least he's going to go up and look and see what's going on. Nothing. Nothing is going on. How boring. Uh, we're not going to overwatch. Mr. Clean, you can stay there for the moment. Jensen, no. Kicks. There we go. This is our rookie. Is there anywhere here to go look? This looks like something nice. No, no, nothing going on. Ah, I, the thing is, like, I'm like, ah, nothing's going on. But the moment something goes on, I'm going to be like, no, 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 don't do that. So we're just going to have to. So I think what my plan is going to be is just walk along this wall for a bit until we find some actual trouble. I think we're just going to walk along the wall. Okay, and Mr. Edwards, so you're going to go take position behind there, I think. Kind of would have liked to have just leave, left him there, actually. Kind of. Uh, Flores is going to overwatch. We're, we're not getting all that far with our dude, but that's all right. That's fine. Um, do we want to fly this guy? Do we not? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. We want to use use his powers of flight at some point, but right now... Let's dash this guy up here. That That's maybe a bad idea. Normally I have bad ideas like that. Okay, we're good-ish. So let's move this guy. Can we climb up there? Is that a thing? I don't know. Let's just move him forwards. See what we see. Uh, we can't overwatch with the plasma rifle, but I would like to overwatch with the pistol. I know we've got a lot of people overwatching, but let's just let's just keep it going. Okay, end of go. What's going to happen next? Death is going to happen next. So we yeah we hear some people. Do we go towards them or do we just carry on with our sweep? I don't know. Uh, really worried about. Well, just really worried about losing all my squad again. Some more death going over there, and that sounded big and nasty. That did, did, did sound big and nasty. I heard a foot land. It was like a donk. Um, is this good Good cover? It's not really, is it? Go on, head to the ship. Awesome. What I'd like to know is whether we've got an actual... Run so you see there's like this dead end here. Is it worth me going down here, or do we have to make our way in here? I don't know. Um, so where's my, other, where's my other rookie? Who's this? This is Mr. Edwards. You my other rookie? No, you're my my sniper. Here's my other rookie. Okay, so can we get to full cover anywhere? Not without a full-on dash. And I'm really worried, really worried about what's behind here. I don't want to dash. Dashing always leads me into big trouble. But it's what kind of what we're gonna have to do. Ah, oh, look, you see, you see. What can we do about this? Nothing really. The fact that we've dashed him out is just kind of death. Someone can spot him. Quick, fire. 56% is terrible, but... Oh, okay. Alright, that's a good no shot. We'll take that, I suppose. <laughs> uh, could you tell I'm surprised? Can you tell I'm surprised? Where's Kobayashi? Uh, that's Jensen. Kobayashi. Here we go. We need to move you up somehow. Here. We're going to see if we can move our heavy up to here. And then maybe we'll go... I'm a little bit worried about where those uh, chrysalids got to. Oh, we can't actually move without doing a dash. Should we come all the way over here then? If we're going to dash anyway. Yeah, if we're going to dash anyway. Here we go. We'll see, we'll see what's going on. Uh, so, Overwatch. Awesome. Overwatch. Uh, is, is this my clean? I, I'm not... I don't want to really waste the... Uh, the... What's the word I'm looking for? Cloaking yet. Yeah. Because, yeah, I'm always scared about wasting stuff. I reckon if I fly up here, I can keep an eye on... Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> I thought I'd messed that up for a little bit there. Okay, so is that all we need to do? We've, we've still got the plasma pistol, so we're going to overwatch on the plasma pistol. Next round, we're going to start overwatching with the plasma rifle. Because <coughs> that's kind of, you know, his best weapon. Uh, so here they come. Fir first chrysalid attacks coming at me. Uh, two points of damage. What, what's, what's two points of damage going to do? Well, it's going to mean that I can take him out in five points of damage next time. I'm really worried about where... Like, I'm pretty sure I heard a sector pod. And, yeah, that. Did you hear that little thump there? I say little thump. It was quite a big thump. Did you hear that big thump there? I'm worried about that. 
So we're going to Overwatch with... The, well, we're not going to Overwatch. We're just going to swap to that first. Because, you know, if we can take a proper shot, I'd rather take a proper shot. And now if I put my hands on the right part of my keyboard, I won't be turning the screen around a lot. All right, I'm just going to take a small drink. And hopefully that will stop me coughing quite so much. Okay, Jensen's going to sit there until we find something better. Um, it, it's just half cover to half cover. I don't, I don't really want to go from half covers all the time. I want to go hide behind this tank, but that's like a full-on dash. And we've already learned that dashing is a bad thing. Uh, that always. Almost always, anyway. Uh, so this guy. Uh, can you get round here and be like... There, protected there. We're going to move up this main path and then our, squ our uh, sniper here is going to keep an eye on everyone. That, that should be fine, right? I'm hoping it's fine, because that's what we're going to do. Uh, so, we don't want to move our uh, support character up yet, but we do want Kobayashi, Mr. Kicks, getting in as close as possible, because, you know, he is the man with the greatest hit chance. Well, I, I don't know if our sniper's got a slightly greater hit chance or not. I'm never sure. Okay, we're going to start overwatching now, because, well, you know, that's all we've got to do, really. Uh, until we lay eyes on someone, this is going to have to do. Do we want to move our support guy back in a little bit? Do we want to put him next to Kobayashi? Let's try it. That gives him, like, bonuses to stuff, right? I'm pretty sure it gives him bonuses. Okay, we're going to Overwatch. They're going to hear me say that a lot, I think, this, this, this game. Because I am still full of fear from the battleship. Definitely going to have to uh, take it slow. I'm a little bit worried about how well grouped up these are. If a Cyberdisc comes in, I am screwed. Um... It's big noises, big noises. Okay, who's gonna go up first? Flores, up to there, brilliant. And nothing spied? Nothing spied, okay, we, we, we can deal with that. Uh, you are my heavy, Mr. Jensen, Miss Jensen, Therese Men Jensen, yeah, that's a, that's a she. Doing well so far, not dead, so um, yeah, that's definitely doing well. Bennett is indeed our rookie. Oh, look, he can get all the way up here. That's a good spot to hide. I think that's a good spot to hide anyway. A little bit close together. You know, grenade will definitely cause us some trouble here. But, you know, whatever. My guys are hard. They can they can deal with this sort of thing. Um, support character. There was somewhere nice to hide somewhere. Where was it? Here? I don't know. That's a bit too hidden. Bit too hidden. Let's see what Kick can do first. I mean, do we just send him up the middle, even though he, that's only half cover? No, of course not. That's that's just suicide. Who would do that? Um, okay, do we leave our sniper here? Yeah, I think we're going to leave our sniper here. I mean, the moment he gets squad sight, it's all over for people, right? Does he have squ does he have squad sight? I think he's got squad sight. I think he's got squad sight. Okay, so we've lost five guys. We've saved one of them. There are twelve at large. I'm not sure what aliens are still around. But we're definitely gonna gonna have to find them somewhere. Um, yeah, it's a bit it's a bit creepy at the moment, and by creepy I mean we're taking small progressive steps forwards, as not like you know we're we're leching on girls and telling them how sweet they are in their uniform or something. I don't know. That that'd be quite quite creepy, right? Okay, the aliens go. We can hear them. We can hear them well. I mean, so far all we've encountered have been chrysalids. And there's bound to be something. Oh, oh, wow, that's, that's a big map. There's bound to be something bigger. So, a man over there has heard something. Do we want to go that way or do we want to carry on with our patrol? Look, there. This is where. Do we move in here? Shall we move in here? I think we're going to move in here. Who's this? This is our support. We don't want to use him. We want to use, yeah, this guy. Uh, in fact, if we come all the way in here, oh, is that going to be close enough to save him? Oh no, let's find out. I'm willing to take that risk. No, it's not close enough to save him. Okay, well, uh, well whatever. Uh, Jensen to there, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, we get, we're going to have to. And then Mr. Clean. I need a better name than Mr. Clean. I mean, what is he? It's like some sort of Got something over here. cleaning product. Set. Oh my giddy giddy gosh. One of those, hey? Well, you know, we do what we can. Oh, no, okay. First thing we're going to do is come around for a better slice of cover. That is definitely the first thing we're going to do. Uh, and now we're going to start thinking about how we can get down to have him. Uh, I don't know. It is my short answer there. Um, so we need to move you to somewhere else. Uh, over here. I don't want to go any further up this way because no doubt we're going to start uh, 
um, triggering other people, and that would be bad. That would be very bad. Okay, we move you here. Move kicks. Uh, blatantly on the other side of this tank. We're just gonna start moving our way down, making ourselves well, just just good for shooting people, basically. I mean, what what else could we be doing? We could be opening up menus that we don't want. It's terrible. It's terrible, terrible. Okay, we're gonna move our sniper. Oh, well, where do we want to move him to? This is the question. Do we just leave him here? Do we move him up this way and then? Well, no, we know that there is something big and scary coming for us, so... We want him to be ready with the sniper rifle. Right, big noises. Is he coming? Kobayashi is wasting his reaction shot. Not with Kobayashi, um, our sniper. I can't remember what his name is. Wasting his reaction shot. But, you know, whatever happens. Well, and now we're shooting the side of uh, containers apart. Well, at least we can get in and use it as cover now. See, the real question is, what side is that big scary thing on? I don't know. Like, is he this side of the wall, that side of the wall? Where's, where's our guy up front? This person here. Let's move in, see what's going on around this corner. Uh, nothing is going on around this corner. So at some point, he's going to come up here, right? This is what I'm expecting. This is what I am expecting. Um, okay, so what's what's next? What can we do next? Not much after that, to be honest. Uh, who's this? Jensen. Uh, go in and save this guy. I, got you. I saw. Oh. Do we see something? What do we see? Hmm. <coughs> drone shot. Let's see if we got hollow targeting. There. No. Can't no. We confirmed. we've got death though. That's good. Death is good. I like death. Well, I like death when death's on my side. <laughs> when death's coming for me, not so great. Uh, so who have we got here? Kobayashi. You can sneak your way down to here, I think. Hopefully we'll see something. If not, well, then we don't. Yeah, very, very zen of me. Uh, okay, this guy is going to have to come down here. I don't know if he's in trouble there. We'll just run down this way and see what happens. Do we see anything? We see nothing. That's a shame. That is actually a shame. Um, okay. So we start overwatching. See, see who we got left. Flores is going to have to come down here to the side of the tank. Also overwatch. Um, yeah, we don't really have much... To, uh, in fact, let's reload this one. Locked and, loaded. Uh, and finally, our sniper. You know what? You can just overwatch as well. You've got good, good, good eyes on everywhere. So we're just going to leave him there for the moment. Well, the chrysalids are in view. I don't think we're going to do anything with him, though. Uh, there we go. This is what happens. I was waiting for the overwatch shots. But, unfortunately, this now means that if the sector pod comes wandering down, uh, then we're going to be in a bit of trouble. Did you hear something? We, we did hear something. What is it? Oh, it's just another chrysalid. That's all right. I don't, I don't mind chrysalids. Well, I don't mind chrysalids as long as they're not... As long as they're not right in my face. So we just keep spinning around, seeing what's going on. Who can you see? You can see that guy for 57%. More importantly, can you move to somewhere of better cover? Uh, not without exposing yourself. So I think we're going to go around here. That's not better cover. Ah, oh, can we not? I just want to fire this. Why can I not fire? Because I don't have anything to look at. That's fine. We're going to reload then. No, we're going to overwatch then. Okay. Uh, kicks. Let's spin you around to look the right way. Now, hopefully, if you come running up here, you can spot a chrysalid. He should be able to kill a chrysalid outright, right? How many rights were there? Oh, my God. There's not just one. One, two, three. Okay. Well, he can take this first one out 100%. 100%. Hey. Oh, no. It only says eight. Well, it says 100 over the top. Oh, well. This should be enough, though. Hopefully. Yep. Boom. This is why he's my highest ranking officer. <laughs> uh, so, Mr. Clean, he could really could do with coming up to um, support uh, kicks up there. But, you know, we'll see what goes on. Overwatching, he doesn't really have much else that he can do. Flores can see someone. 55%. So. <coughs> if we come up here and fire at this. Awesome. Awesome. No, no death. Oh, I was kind of hoping that would be a uh, 
murder, death, kill, or an MDK, as we remember from the old school. Oh, that was such a good game. I remember MDK. Oh, well. Uh, so we're going to move this guy around here. And at the end of this go, I think I'm going to take a small break because, oh my, my throat, guys. Ah, uh, it's the middle of summer and I've got a cold. I mean, what is this? Alien activities. We're going to see what happens here. We're going to just watch them run away by the looks of it, actually. That'll be fine. We, we can deal with that. What, what I'm really worried about is where that sector pod is. You know, the big, the big walking robot thing. The, yeah, that was him. Him. Where is he? Is he going to just shoot at my sniper? Mm. Should have done something better than just leaving him there, right? Oh, thank God for that. Um, and now, unless he over... Right, okay. So right now, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to say, uh, I have a big problem in the form of this sector pod over here. It kind of has a serious eye on my, uh, my sniper over here. And all my other guys are over here next to useless in this particular battle um, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do here but one thing that I know I do want to do is get this guy out of here so I think I'm going to start moving towards my other guys wow there he actually got an eye on me so we're going to come over this way hopefully we are safe well, we're going to get a reaction shot taken against us let's see what happens here good or evil we're going to see what happens it's a miss that's fine we're going to see a miss oh, so I should let you know now that I've got a bit of a summer cold guys so if suddenly Everything goes blank and it just cuts forward a little bit. That's because I have had to cough up a small piece of my left lower lung um, just for your entertainment, you know. Uh, but we can't do much here, so we're going to have to go for the sniper rifle, uh, not the sniper rifle, the plasma pistol, and take these four points of damage, which I'm, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, we can do. Yes, four points of damage out of all. How many is that? 30 points we need to take off him uh, can we use a rocket all the way down here it says the shot is blocked but it also says that is a hit so that's that's what we're going for here it's a shame I don't have a, uh, a shredder rocket but oh what are you kidding me um well I suppose we're just gonna have to deal with that kicks Right, Kix actually has a bit of a mission on his own that he's doing here. So we're just going to start moving him up. Uh, I don't think we want to move him that way. We want to move him this way. That way he can also take a shot back at the sector pod if things really need to do that. Uh, there is no one to see here. I do know that there are a few chrysalids up here. And this is what I'm keeping my eye out for. As you can see, we've killed one here. There's another one in this building somewhere that we've killed. Yeah, look, chrysalid deceased. So this this is what Kix is doing. He's going off like mano a mano with the, with the aliens because that, that's what he does. Um... Mm, mm. Now, this is exposed to the sector, sector pod. If I go here, can I take a shot? I can take a shot. Look at that. 49% hit chance, though. It's not great. Yeah, no, we missed. That's, that's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame. Flores, right, we need to get you close enough to be able to start doing some damage, right? Um, I'm not sure where that would be. I feel super exposed. Uh, uh, like So no matter what, this guy has to come up and round here. And that's going to make him all exposed here. So do you reckon we can come in on this side? It's all dashes, look. Perhaps we'll do it in a two-move thing. We'll come over here. I mean, this is going to draw fire. There's no way that this isn't going to draw fire. We're going to fire down here. 35% hit chance. Perhaps what we're going to actually do is overwatch him. So we can try and pin him where he is. Maybe the AI will be like, oh no, I couldn't possibly walk down here because you have an eye on me. This is my hope, anyway. Okay, so the next thing is to come this way, maybe? Oh, I've got a lot of people all clustered together here. Uh, for a 30... Like, we've got... Gonna have to just keep on working out our way down to get close into fire, right? Okay, so let's see what's gonna happen here. Chrysalid's gonna come pouring out. Uh, Flores is taking the reaction shot though. That's not quite the reaction shot we wanted. It's a bit of a shame. It is a bit of a shame. Um, Kobayashi should hopefully correct the issue there. Oh. Well. Okay. I mean, just our highest ranking individual. Oh, another reaction shot. What's this about? No, just, just randomly firing at random points, eh? Hey? Well. That, that's the way it goes on for it, I suppose. Uh, now, who's going to do the real damage here? And who's he going to do it to? Um, I don't know. We're waiting. Was that missed? Was that? Did everyone miss? Is this what happened here? I hope so. I'd like, I really do hope so. I mean, if everyone missed, that'd be great. Right, we're going to do a headshot at him. He's, it's, it's only 64% hit chance. But what else are we going to do, hey? I, I can't think of much else what we can do. So we're just going to have to... Oh, yeah. Hope that hits. Another couple of those, and I think we should be all right. But getting those extra couple in is going to be difficult. Uh, what we've got here is our 
Hmm. Hmm. What we need to do is get get some better firing capabilities on here. Who who is our heavy? Here's our heavy. Can we get her down here to take a shot? She can't take a shot like that, so that's a bit rubbish. What I think we're going to... Ooh, Mr. Bennett can take a shot there. I don't think we want to, though. We want to move this guy down here to take on this uh, this crucifix, right? Do we have someone we can shoot at? Yes, that, that's what we want. Hopefully that's enough to kill. That is enough to kill. Good. Now, Jensen. We're going to come down here. We're going to have eyes on him. We're not going to have eyes. Yes, have we got eyes on him? Is this a shot? I hope this is a shot. I have no idea if we get holo targeting or not, but 37%. No, look, we don't. That's a shame. Though we have just taken his um, thingy out, I hope. Cover. Okay, somewhere is there another another chrysalid? There's not. Okay. No, we can deal with that. We can definitely deal with that. Um, but this is first. We've got to enact our plan to move this guy over to full cover. Okay, good. We can still fire at someone. 35% is not a good hit chance. Um, perhaps what we want to do is reload. I don't know. We're, we're going to take the 35% just in case. Just in case what, eh? Just in case what. Okay, Kobayashi, you are a man that needs to be on Overwatch because everyone else needs to reload, basically, I think is the way this is going to go. Is there anything I can do here that's going to really, like, aid me? No, not really. Okay, so we're going to have to take the 49% hit chance. No, nope, that's also rubbish. Well, I suppose we're just going to have to deal with this as it will. What? What? What happened there? I, what? I full on don't know what's going on here. Someone just died for no apparent reason, as I can tell. Um. Hmm. Well. I don't know. I'm not sure what to say about it. As you can tell, I'm a little bit flabbergasted by that. I really thought that we were safe. Um. We're just gonna have to go with what we can. A 64. I'm expecting a miss. Yeah. No. Okay. I. I um. Honestly. I'm a little bit, well, I'm more than a little bit flabbergasted. I, I just don't, I don't know where I'm going to do or what. I'm, oh, no, no, please, no. What? Well, everyone's dead. We don't know what to do. Oh, God, this is terrible. Mr. Clean, William Edwards, where is he? Where is he? He's deceased, so why am I... Kitting goes for him. No? <laughs> Alright, well, you know, we'll just see what's going on. We can do nothing but reload here. Like, maybe go hide. Hiding might be a plan. <coughs> Kix is definitely going to have to um, reload here. I, I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do at this point. Well, well, I don't know. Go out in a blaze of glory. There's not really much else we can do, right? Um, maybe just carry on running away. Maybe carrying on running away is actually going to be a decent plan. Uh, because then we can find some somewhere better. We can we can like get get eyes over the top of him, stuff like that. This guy's already had a go. Um, yeah. Okay. So let's guys. It's only a few more few more hits until he's dead. But there is serious need to go. Oh, I don't, I... Confused. I am confused. So we're, we're just going to carry on coming down this way. I think. It's 35% hit chances. Oh, okay. Well, you know, 35% hit chance does occasionally hit. I mean, that's why it's a percentage. Where is he going now? What's he going to do? He's going to kill my sniper for me, which he could probably do in two shots. Looking at it. Yeah, another one of those, and I'm not going to be overly. I'm not going to be an overly happy bunny. Um, yeah. See, like this is. Oh, thank you. That could have been. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, so my plan now, as it stands, is to take a shot with this guy. Yeah, yeah, I know you're not going to be able to do much. Uh, take a shot with my sniper. Where is he? Okay, hopefully get in a good solid hit here. If we get in a good solid hit, then maybe we don't need to do anything else. No, we're going to have to do something else. So that's all right. What we're going to do... <laughs> we're going to leave Kobayashi here. We're going to run this guy... To here. Oh, am I really going to do this? Yep, I'm really going to do this. Oh no, I didn't realise it was going to have a reaction shot. As long as this misses, we're all good, okay? We're going to use the last bit of ammo in our gun 
to take a ridiculously low hit charge, 68% when I can like just look it in there. Now the real question is, is the resulting explosion going to kill my rookie? No. Ooh, wow. Okay, so, back on with the plan. Uh, we lost two guys, we've got no one with a medikit. I'm really going to have to start giving my other people medikits, it can't just be my solitary support officer. For reasons such as this. It, that's terrible. Okay, right. Kobayashi, you can just sit there for the moment. You, you really can just sit there for the moment. Is this tank going to explode? What tanks are ready to explode? This is what. This is something I need to know here. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to overwatch here. Okay. This is good. I mean, there's only four civilians left. What, what more do they want from me? Oh, there's only three civilian left. What more do they want from me? Okay, so let us... These are all dashes, but that's fine, actually. You know you know what? I can fully accept a dash... And, oh, I don't want a dash. I just want to walk down the side here and reload, right? Perhaps what we actually want to do is toggle our flight. <laughs> then from here, I don't know. Let's just kind of come up here to watch over these guys, and we can reload. This, this sounds like the way to do it, and then... Yeah, and then reload. I would overwatch, apart from look how much ammo we don't have. Right, kicks. We are moving up, my friend. Where are we going to move up to? Uh, th these are terrible ways of going in. I think we're going to come in from around here. It's the only way to go. It's the only way to go. Uh, Overwatch, we don't really have much else to do. Uh, Flores, you can't even dash up that way. You can't really get around the back of there. Okay, so we're just going to go stand there. Uh, now, I'm not sure whether we want to go through the building or up along the side of it. But whatever we decide, we're going to have to go up there full force, sort of American style, you know. Keep all our guys together, fire as many bullets as we can. Um, oh God, okay, we're going to move up here and then we're going to reload. Not much better than we can do. Perhaps we'll send this guy up the side of the we're building. Or this girl, sorry, up the side of the building. Oh, God, sure. So, what are we going to do? We're going to hear people over there. Okay. Shut up. Yep, yeah, no, I heard it. I heard it. We're just going to carry on hearing it. Is this the way it's going to happen? So, Jensen bled out. This is, this is terrible. So, yeah, definitely one of the things that's next going to be on my list of things to do is get other people, well, more support officers, more support guys. Um, let's go around here and look around the corner. What do we see? We see nothing of any use. Oh, this is rubbish. What? Uh, okay, so Kobayashi, you're also going to do the same. You're going to run up to the side of the corner. You're going to tell me what you see. We see... Ah, oh, there we go. Two chrysalids. One's definitely coming for me. Um, hopefully we can just kill that one right now. Oh, maybe we can kill it with a reaction shot. That would save us some time. Ah, oh, seven hits. What? Okay, well. Um, do we have someone else to, to deal the last damage here? We do. 55% hit chance. Not great, though. Hopefully enough just for the one point. Damn. Should have moved the other guy up, maybe. That that possibly would have been a better plan. Uh, can we sit here? Uh, it's a bit of a weird weird angle, actually. Um, not just a weird angle, totally uncovered to like this line of attack. Well, the reason we wanted to do that is so that we could leave Kobayashi, who is our strongest hit, uh, on Overwatch over here. Like that. Yeah, that's what we want. Uh, and now, where are we going to put our sniper? What I'd actually like to do is put our sniper over behind a tank. Ooh, look, can we, can we get there? We can get there. That is a move, though. Let's see, let's see what happens. Uh, let's bust out the pistol, as that is all we can do, and fire at that one. 84% hit chance. This should be a solid hit. There we go. Four points of damage. That, that's what we call a solid hit. Oh, now that's not very nice. I was just coming to save him. Okay, well, well, let's do this, like, sniper style. Pull out our sniper rifle, use the most powerful hit we possibly can, and take out the guy with half, half health. This may or may not be the end of the... Of the... No, we've still got guys at large somewhere. Okay, well, where are we going to be? Are they, I'm not sure if there's going to be more in the building or whether there's going to be like something big and nasty over here. I'm expecting something big and nasty over there. I don't know. Let's wander up here and find out. Nothing so far? Okay. This is good. It's not good. I'd, I'd like to actually see where, where our major threats are. Mm, where, do we, where do we go up here? Now, what I really want to do is stand behind that, but that's not a thing. 
Uh, what about here? Yep, uh, that's full cover. We'll go stand behind there instead. That's good. No, nothing to worry about. Okay, we're going to Overwatch. Bennett, you are going to, I don't know, dash there just to get you up close. Probably turn out that is uh, totally not the right thing to do. Commander, the operation hey, was that was a success, was it? Doesn't feel like a success. Doesn't feel like a success. Well, let's go home and see what's going on. Uh, and I, I think what's going to go on is we've got brought back a load of corpses. Only a couple of them are ours. So that's all right. I mean, the way things are going, two people dead is a is a win for me, right? Like, yeah, definitely a win so far. Okay, returning home. Somber mood, it has to be said. A bit of a somber mood. But we do have a whole load of promotions. Two killed in actions. Kobayashi not really getting many promotions as he is kind of as good as he could possibly be. But let's have a look. Our, our captain here, he is a sniper. What do we have? We have the executioner. 10% aim against targets with less than 50% health. Now that would be nice, right? Uh, opportunist eliminates the aim penalty on reaction shots and allows reaction shots to cause criticals. I'm going to go like that one, actually. We, we leave him... No, I didn't want to re reconsider. These always seem the wrong way around to me. Does anyone else have this? I want to click on this side to say okay. Maybe it's just like some bad internet training or something like that. So we have fired a rocket. We've got we got a heavy. That's that's good. That, that's good as we lost one, I suppose. Uh, and we've got another assault, which is kind of good. We've got a run and gun. Yeah, okay. Should we go and have a look around the base, see what we've got? We've got some chrysalid corpses, a sector point re uh, wreck, uh, two drone wrecks, some illyrium, alien alloys, and weapon fragments. Panic in Australia has decreased by two. All right, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. But I kind of wish... Remember, we... I kind of wish that happened in the United States or Brazil. I really do, actually. I really, really do. Okay, we've got a couple of days until our fusion launcher side testing. I don't, I don't really want to go too far into the future because like next thing we're going to have is like a, a another another thing to do but let's go and assign some more research here we can do the blaster launcher for available for a manufacturer i think we're going to make one of these by integrating components of advanced alien, alien navigation system we can fire self-guiding rockets uh yeah uh, no line of sight I, I that that i want that how do we make sure that that is a thing we go to engineering we go to buy item and we have a look down here and try and find the thing that's read it out do we, do we have it here anywhere? Blaster launcher. Yeah, okay. Money is our... Right, there we go. Money is our issue. That's fine. We can deal with money. In fact, I do believe if we come all the way back... Oh, wait. We might have stuff that we can sell. But I do believe we're going to have a cancel report in nine days. But with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, guys. Uh, hopefully, I will see you next time where we're going to still stay alive. Get some guys with some side training on the go. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Bye!